Las Vegas is commonly referred to as the Knife Island. And recent reports show our community has the third largest population of Native Hawaiians, and it continues to grow. The Council for Native Hawaiian Advancement is holding its Western Regional Conference in Las Vegas. Kahio Lewis joins us in studio with more on the upcoming conference. So it's so good to have you. Yeah. Thank you for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. And brought a very lovely display just to give us an idea of what we can expect. Yeah. You know, we were talking before we started this interview, and I read an article that was recently in the New York mm -hmm. Times about how many Hawaiians are moving away from their homeland. And um, one of the recent winners of American mm -hmm. uh, American Idol. Idol, yes, E.M. Tongi, yes. right? He was just saying how how a lot of natives have just been priced out of their mm -hmm. homes. They simply can't afford it. And that's a sad reality, huh? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Hawaii has a unique culture. Yes. We have a new, unique fabric. Um, and it's sad when we see people move away from our islands because with them goes that culture, right. that uniqueness, what keeps Hawaii special. So this conference that we're bringing to Vegas, it's the first. Yes. We've, we've done this for 22 years. It's always been in Hawaii. Right. But recognizing that so many of our people have moved away, right. we decided to bring it to them. So yeah. That's wonderful. And it's really um, important to be able to reconnect Mm -hmm. with your culture and to share some of those shared experiences with each other, right? Absolutely. So let's talk about kind of what's going to unfold over those four days. Well, the convention is intended to keep our community connected to mm -hmm. Hawaii, their ancestral homeland. Uh, they need to, we need to ensure that they know where they come from, they know their identity as, as Native Hawaiians. So what we're doing is we're having a series of breakout sessions, time, uh, conversations about how we talk about our future, where we go as a, a collective people. There'll be lots of entertainment. We're featuring uh, Miss Aloha Hula. So the hula competition oh. in Hawaii, we're bringing the winner of Miss Aloha Hula, uh, Miss Keiki Hula up here. Wow. Uh, there's some e evening events as well and mm -hmm. just opportunities for people to develop professionally, for-profit, non-profit businesses. Wow. There's marketing and branding. There's a way, there, there's conversations about ways to stay authentic to Hawaii. And that's interesting. What does that conversation look like? You know, being able to maintain that authenticity, because I was even listening to NPR, and there's really this big push for even Hawaiians to get more connected with their native language mm -hmm. or tongue, because so many mm -hmm. have lost that. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was just a really interesting discussion of how there's really this this movement, you know, to really reconnect. So what does that look like? Well, you know, most people come to Hawaii, love to vacation there, but they get treated Mai Tais in Waikiki, yeah. or they'll go to a luau. So that's not really authentic. You know, right. that's not Hawaii. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a commercialized version of it. Mm -hmm. But there's this beautiful and rich culture that's underneath all of it. So we want that to emerge. And, and so I think uh, our, as our Hawaiians move away from Hawaii, it's important that they know that authentic part of sure. who they are so right. yeah yeah so that you know so that we don't get caught up so much in the commercialization mm -hmm. of cultures because I think a, a lot of people can relate to that of different cultures even being you know of African-American descent yes. the commercialization of, of different cultures and how you really kind of lose that sense of authenticity mm -hmm. so I appreciate that so let's talk about where it yep. is when it's gonna happen all that good stuff so it's happening at the Westgate Hotel uh, and it's happening from June 19th to the 22nd. Uh, we're gonna be featuring a number of different things separate from the convention. There's evening activities. So we have Josh Totopi, he's a big name oh, in Hawaii. Yeah. So he's, he's headlining a, an event at our convention. We also have Sasha Colby. She's the winner of the RuPaul uh, yes. drag show. Yes. She's, she'll be featured in a show That's at awesome. our convention. And, you know, she's from Waimanalo. That's why Ian Tongi's from La Ie. Oh, neat. So, yeah. Okay, yes. I didn't realize I was Sasha yeah. Colby. Okay. We're also featuring uh, a marketplace. We're bringing up over 10,000 Hawaii products wow. to Vegas. And so just a small display of some of the items that you can find. You have scented candles. Yeah, I smell those really chocolates. good. Delicious <laughs> chocolates. So, yeah, it's a chance for people to ex experience Hawaii, have yeah. a taste of Hawaii. Well, a taste of Hawaii. What a beautiful culture. We're so excited that now it's um, really just so become ingrained mm -hmm. in Las Vegas as well in our community. So, anyway, check it out. We'll put the information on our website at the Westgate starting June 19th. We really appreciate you for being here. Thank, Thank you. you so much.